Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Ivan Zujek from Webwash and today we'll look at the location map module. If you want to learn more about Drupal, check out our website at webwash.net or follow us on Twitter at webwashnet. The location map module is a simple yet powerful module. It does one thing and one thing only. The module allows site builders to display a map and location on a website. Here's an example. Your client comes to you and asks, we need an About Us page that displays a map of where our office is located and we also want the ability to change the map ourselves. In this situation, location map is the best solution. However, you might ask, can't I just drop an iframe into a website? You can, but do you really want an end user screwing around with an iframe? No, you don't. Also, you may unintentionally open up security holes by trying to get an iframe rendered properly within a text format. However, if you want to attach addresses or geographical coordinates to nodes or users, then you shouldn't use this module. Look at using a combination of address field, geo field, geocoder and geoPHP if you want to store geographical data. Anyway, let's now set up the module. Setting up the module is very easy. Just download and enable. Click on modules in the toolbar. Select location map. Then click on save. Now go to the map by going to slash location map. Click on the edit tab to edit the page. The most important fields are title and address. You can also control how the map is displayed. Map type, zoom level, width and height, or you can manually enter in the coordinates. You can add text into the marker. You can also add text above and below the map. Once you're happy with everything, click on save. Let's go and check out the map. Click on view, and there is the map. If you are not happy with the location of the marker, simply drag the marker into the right location. Click on save new location and zoom level when you're done. Another great feature is the static Google map block. Go to structure and then click on blocks. If you scroll down, you should see the location map static image block. Add the block to the first sidebar region and click on save blocks. Let's go back to the home page. Now you have a miniature version of the map. The block utilizes Google's static map API. It's an image and you can't zoom in or out. This is a lot faster than loading up a Google Maps iframe on every single page load. If you click on the block, you'll be sent to the location map page. That's all for today. And I hope you have learned something new. If you have a question, please leave a comment.